Hey guys, it's Vaughn, and you guys have been asking to see fashion videos, so I'm excited because today I'm filming in my guest room, and this video is going to be all about outfit ideas for spring and summer. I went shopping online at chicwish.com and I picked up a few outfits. So I'm going to show you guys six looks today. This is not a how-to video, but I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to pair certain items together. You guys can take those tips and copy them verbatim, or you can use them as inspiration. I'm going to be showing you guys full looks from head to toe, including shoes. The online store I shopped at is called Chic Wish, and they have some cute, affordable, nice quality stuff. This first look is a mod lover's dream. Now I'm wearing some shoes that may seem kind of fancy, but I've had them for four years, okay? Um, but I love wearing these shoes because they're super nude and they're the same color as my skin tone. And they work really well with cropped pants, which I love. So this top is so awesome. I got it from Chic Wish. The quality is just incredible. This top really looks mod and it's got that kind of high rise neck, but it's not a turtleneck. So I feel like you can still get away with wearing this in the spring. I think my favorite thing about this top is how flush it tucks into high waist pants. It zips up in the back so it's very contouring and I love the sleeves. Gotta love the sleeves. Now these high waist pants I got from Kiwi's Boutique a couple seasons back. It's got that sort of raised embroidery detail which really gives me that 1960s vibe. This is definitely a throwback look. For this next look, this is a simple nude figure flattering dress. I love the nude kind of pink tones, really looks great with I think um, glitter and silver. So I'm actually wearing these shoes that have like a ivory undertone, I actually had bought these for my wedding reception. This dress is very very comfortable, it stretches, it gives, so you don't have to feel like you're squeezing into it. Now this belt, this belt is a big deal about this outfit, okay, because you can wear it any kind of way you choose. I like to wear it kind of... Uh, layered in the waist region so I'm doubling it twice and then I'm tying a bow right in the front but you could always tie your bow on the side or even in the back I feel like the bow gives it that Alice in Wonderland look this dress is really pleated and textured so it came pretty wrinkled so I had to iron it right out of the bag for jewelry I kept it simple I'm just wearing this white gold necklace that my husband got for me and these really petite pearl earrings now your hair can be worn either up or down I was kind of debating between the two but you know, of course I went with the wild kind of hair that was out. But I love this look. I think it's so darling and you can definitely wear it for a special occasion. This next look, look number three, is more of like that doll-like rock girl kind of look. Not something that I would normally wear, but I actually like the way it turned out. You could totally go heavy with the jewelry with a look like this, but I stayed pretty light even though I layered. I really love the look of this skirt though. It's kind of like that midi lane, really flowy, lightly pleated. It's kind of like that tool material kind of skirt and it looks really good with these velvety sandals. Now this top is actually not a top, it's a jumpsuit and I got it from Fashion Nova but it fits so perfectly and I love how snug and comfortable this waistband is. And just as a tip for you ladies, whenever a top zips up the back, just know that it's going to fit you like a glove. That should just be like law. For earrings, I'm just wearing these that I got from Puerto Vallarta. They're actual seashells. And then instead of a traditional bra, I'm actually wearing silicone pasties. That's what's giving me that feminine silhouette. Without the unsightly straps. For this next look, I'm actually wearing platform heels because this dress is so long. I'm only 5'4", guys, so if you do get a dress like this, make sure that you consider your height. This dress is so cute, though. One of my favorite items because it's got the two separate elements. It's got the lace component and it's got the chiffon component. And they tie all together in the center with a cute little satin belt. And it's got the split. I mean, this is the sexiest, cutest dress for summer and even though it's long sleeves it's completely see-through so air can breeze right through it you are not going to be hot wearing this I think the way to really set off an all-white look is the sexy vampy red lipstick look number five is one of my favorite casual looks for summer sexy yet comfy I absolutely live for ripped denim and these jeans were actually DIY'd 
I tuck my top in in the front just so that I'm not swallowed completely because the top is a little bit oversized. I'm rocking some Steve Madden graffiti pumps, which I think kind of add to the bad girl look of this. And I'm just wearing a cute little gold necklace with a V initial on the front. And I really like this top. I got it from Chic Wish. It's off the shoulder. It's very stretchy and comfortable. You feel like you're wearing pajamas, but you look so hot. This is one of my favorite lip colors for winter, spring, summer, and fall. I will list all the details in the description box. And lastly, look number six, one of my favorite colors. This is my favorite color, brown, okay? But I'm also a huge fan of jewel tones and earth tones. So I love this outfit. These boots I got from Aldo, okay? They're genuine leather and they've got the tassel on them. These boots are everything and they're good for fall, but you can also transition them into the summer, which is what I'm doing here. One of my favorite ways to repurpose boots in spring especially is to wear boots with mini skirts, shorts, and tunics. It's actually a really great way to toughen up any look, accentuate the legs, just a way to kind of bring a little bit more style to whatever look you're trying to accomplish. For my body type, this tunic is the perfect length, but if you need a little bit more security, you could wear tights, leggings, shorts, anything you want really. I'm all about this detail at the top of this tunic, this little keyhole, these pleats. I love the way it falls. This is just an awesome look. And I'm pretty sure this thing comes in a couple different colors too. Oh, and by the way, I didn't really talk about my hair in this video, but I won't forget, this is actually a blown out twist out and I just used a whipped shea butter homemade concoction to set the hair. And I really love the way it came out. I just kind of let it do what it wanted to do. Um, I thank you guys for watching though. And if you do like the outfits that you see and you want to pick up anything, Check the description box for links and visit chicwish.com. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time.